Okay, it's nearly two o'clock in the morning. Um, we just got off our coach for like a little gas station trip, and uh, the, the temperature difference between here and San Fran is we're next to Fresno at the moment, so we're near Fresno, so halfway. Cheers, man. So halfway to Cat. I've got to try a Twinkie. Wait, I can't come to a and not try a fucking Twinkie. Okay, we're gonna try a Twinkie. Um, this came to four pounds, which is a bit less. Not bad. They look weird. So just woken up, um, we're currently on a coach going to Anaheim, uh, but we've, we've messed up, our, our Airbnb is actually not until tomorrow, so we're currently in Anaheim with no place to stay, which is <laughs> fun. So we're trying to find a hotel, and trying to find some activities for the day, but currently we're literally up Shit Creek without a paddle. Um, but it's, it's an adventure, so... <laughs> uh, what a day. Fun. What, what a day. day. I can't lie, as uh, shit as our situation is, it's a wonderful view. Yeah, it's all over like the California Santana Hills. It's very, it's very attractive. So we've booked into a hotel that we're going to head to shortly. Which has got a pool and is nice, so that's fun. That's yeah. just somewhere to go and something to do. We got a McDonald's breakfast. It doesn't hit any minute. This is a small. This is a big ass drink. That's a small. This was 11 quid for a McDonald's breakfast meal. Bacon cheese McMuffin, except it's with bacon, whatever the fuck that is. Um, then the the hash browns aren't as good because they're like stringy bits of potato. But I mean, it, it, honestly, it hotel rooms hit so differently, especially after waiting for them for so long. But hotel rooms are easily one of the best things about being on holiday and this is a really nice hotel room it's a little um a little like in sort of place kind of like a motel just next to disneyland um i'll link it in the description because it's actually really nice we're only here for one night but i highly recommend to anyone coming in the local area to disneyland it's nice and big too like you've got a seating area over here and like outside there's a pool you can see the pool just there uh we could probably hop in and then it's cool man like you've got all this like wonderful disney like paintings and stuff which i really like the little details of because this is considered a disney hotel and you got a, a tv a fridge and like a microwave and stuff i don't think there's anything in the fridge no well rotten jumper now two big beds so pretty good another big like a san francisco thing the bathroom rotten's in there A little wardrobe area. So it's really good. I'm watching some family fortunes at the moment, which the, the one with what's his face, the, the guy with the mustache, can't remember his name. Um, but yeah, we don't get that in the UK, so I'm watching that. Um, and then, yeah, it's just a bit of a vibe, really. Like, it's nice, it wasn't too expensive, and I mean, it clearly s sleeps two sets of two, so four people could stay in this room easily. I think that might even be a pull out sofa, so the family could stay in it easily. Panda Village. Five room. So today we're at Downtown Disney. Back to another another vlog on the Chanel. Uh, exploring Downtown Disney because we got some time to come today. So we thought we'd put this apart. We got this lovely fountain on, on walk-in, which we really want to jump in because it's fucking boiling. Uh, and a cool little Isabella statue from Encanto. What we didn't realize though is we've ended up coming for the Halloween Disney. So now it's your it's yeah. way too early for Halloween, man. It's hot. It's like 30 degrees. It's, it's too hot. 
So this Disneyland park is one that I've wanted to come for for ages. Um, I'll do obviously full Disneyland, Disneyland vlogs uh, at a later day, but today we're looking at Downtown Disney, which is basically, for those of you who don't know, a massive like shopping and food district just outside of Disneyland. It's free to enter. So if you do have a spare day or some extra time or anything like that, head over to Downtown Disney and basically just spend your day there. They have cool extra little Disneyland stuff and you get the whole Disneyland feel and experience for free. The only thing you have to do is go through a bag check. You have the main Disneyland entrance over there and then the Disneyland California Adventure just over that side. And then all the way down there is the whole downtown Disney which we're going to explore. But this Disneyland has been on my bucket list for an awfully long time. It's the first Disneyland that was ever created by Walt Disney himself. Uh, Walt Disney actually stayed on property but we'll be going into all of that uh, in, in our vlogs when we go next week. Uh, we go on Tuesday, today's Friday, so not long to wait. We've also bought the Genie Plus experience. Oh, it's the monorail. Hello, monorail. Yeah, we've also bought the G the Genie Plus experience, which basically itinerizes our day and puts us in like orders of queue times and things like that. So that's another thing, fun thing to do. But today we're going to be going through downtown Disney and seeing all the little things that, that has to offer. Maybe buying some things, spending a lot of money, and basically just showing you the little details of Disneyland. Everything is here super expensive. When it comes to the Pixar section, these are sick, like proper Monster University hats with the rip and everything as well, which I really like. But $29 for that, I might have to come back. And the Holy Grail though, the Luxo Ball. I've got to be getting one of these. Look at some really cool pillows and stuff like that. Now you can tell you're getting older when the mugs and like the home decor stuff intrigues you more than the toys. Um, they've got some really sick home decor stuff. Just in general, Disney has always been really good for that. So it's one huge part to the Disney collecting. Uh, so you've got the Funkos and things like that, but you've also got a massive part of the collecting hub, the Pixar and Disney pins. I've got a few myself. I actually need to pick out a lanyard today because I'm going to D23 next week and let's try and find one that I really want. Okay, so it's official. The first of probably many hundreds of different purchases this holiday, the Pixar Luxo Ball. We were just saying these are like posters, but they're not actually posters. They're um, they're screens and they, they change. So we'll see if it changes in a second. But I really like this as well, this billboard. It's just full of like old original sketches, character designs and stuff. Um, which is really cool. So there you go, that one's changing. And good to see. So cool. Even on the counters of the toys. They have a lot of like pretty little water features and extra little things like that as well. The Starbucks. So these little statues, this one has a huge amount of controversy behind it. Basically, there was a 3D artist on YouTube who created this as a as a sort of prototype thing for the Disney parks and put it on like LinkedIn and everything. And Disney stole it without his permission and used it as a product. So this is actually a 3D model of something that a guy on YouTube created just as like a prototype for something they could sell. And Disney took it and it's apparently still got, if you take it apart, it's still got the licensing on the bottom because he 3D printed his like serial code on the bottom of it and Disney got in a lot of shit for it. So that was a actual Disney sketch artist who works for Disney Animation. It's really cool to spoke to him about like the industry and what it's like and how he got into it and stuff, which was really cool to see. This is sick, made of entirely Lego. The Toy Story, the Lego store, downtown Disney. And then as you go inside, you're created by Aladdin and the Genie. They've got a giant Vader too. Lego is way too expensive. There's no way that's 20 quid. That's just 20 quid. Ridiculous prices. Race speeder from Star Wars, pretty sick. It's a weirdly designed little ship, isn't it? It's quite cool though. And this is so cool. Talk about immersion into different like worlds. Oh my. Like, the fact they put this much detail into a shop is so sick. These are sick. Very expensive, but awesome. That's mad. The slightly cheaper alternative to expensive, expensive ones are the other slightly small plasticky ones. Funko made way too many of these Fennec Shan pops because they are everywhere for like 40% off, even in England. Don't mind because I've wanted to buy one of these Boba Fett helmets for so long now. They're so sick. They're so cool. It's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're a raccoon. <laughs> so wrong. Raccoon. It's <laughs> weird how this place works, right? You've got basically an hour from the time you start and you can play as many games as you want. But all the balls are like really heavy, so it's really hard to throw. We got a fat bowl of matches. It's an American size, but for 20 quid, that's not bad. These are sick, so they're like mini football games. You take one turn each to hit it. And then like there's fouls and stuff, so if you hit it twice, that's a foul. If it goes out, it's a foul. And you can like spin out these little players. So Rajan fouled, so I took out one of his players. It's quite cool. There's like different pitches and stuff. This one's bouncy, so it's got like really rubbery. This one's like sticky, and then this one's really, really fast. But like, Downtown cool. Disney has like a huge range of stuff to do. There's like Pandora, there's Sephora, there's like loads of regular shopping shops as well. Um, as well as like other things to do. We went bowling, which was quite good. It was actually quite cheap as well. Massive, massive bowling that shows for like 70 pounds, which is pretty good. We're sat outside Starbucks at the moment. Um, and like, it does get busier like later on in the day, because as people are leaving the park, so they come for another place to be. It's quite pretty. It's a good place to go and spend a half a day if you've got it. Or just in general, if you want to waste some time, it's really good for that sort of stuff. So I do recommend coming and give it a visit. It is free and, uh, and realistically, it will only take a matter of minutes if you don't plan on staying. But they got some pretty good shops. I like the big Disneyland shop they have as well. That's where I got my Luxo ball, I showed you earlier. But we'll head back in there in a minute uh, and I'll show you some more footage from there. One thing I love about Disneyland as well is the amount of things they have. Uh, Disney and Walt Disney himself, when they built all of the parks, they made a pack to basically have bins every 10 meters. So that you'll never have to look for a bin. There will always be a bin. That way it keeps the, part, the, the, the whole park nice and clean throughout and, and then that's throughout any of the parks that you go to. There's also no gum rule, so you'll never ever see gum on the floor, which is really, really cool. But just the fact that the little things like the bins matter, it's really, really cool. Uh, and it keeps the park nice and clean. And I mean, you don't really get that in some places, especially in the UK, you, you have to find walk miles for bins and stuff. Uh, and they have loads everywhere, like makes recycling in general. Like, this shirt is so cool. It's so me though, $60 can fuck off, but it's still quite cool. Pretty big shop as well. It seems to all be like the Disneyland based area. Where everything sort of themed around the park with a big like Mickey and Minnie Mouse section and then all the t-shirts seem to be over here I really like the Pizza Planet shirt this one here it's kind of cool I don't think it'll fit me or like suit me sorry quite like the uh, Incredibles one as well where the designs it's all the princess and sort of girly section these are quite cool they're like replica Captain America shells but they're foam so you can like kill people with it but not actually kill them I quite like that, it's quite sick. Now the ears at Disney are a massive thing, but my god, they're so expensive. These are like 30 quid, right? They have replicas of the bots that you can get in the, uh, the Spider-Man ride, the web, web shooters ride, which we'll cover in our vlog on Tuesday, probably. Ah, oh, and inclusion, they've got the uh, Captain Carter one as well. Like I said, we're here for the Halloween now, so there's loads of Halloween stuff everywhere, which is, feels really strange because we've got time. Oh my god, is that a suit? Look how boss that is. Imagine turning up to the parks in that, man. Yeah, that's a bit mad. An Encanto section, there's a big, big Star Wars section too. And those are like extra little toys and stuff. Oh, the way that Disney make all their money. Stuffed toys. Oh, that bolt one's sick, to be fair. I love the luck. Oh, We've got yeah, all the official yeah. Toy Story toys. Yeah, so we've got the lanyard. It's like a cool sort of cartoony. It's got all the characters on it, which I really like. I'm trying not to give away something else in the hand, but yeah. All the extra ears and hats and stuff. Got cool bags as well. The bags are kind of cool. And then that's it, the back end of the shop. It's just Pixar stuff, basically. So upon leaving, that's like the entrance over there. And then to the left, you've got the actual Disneyland Park, as well as like that Space Mountain, you can just see the tip. And then you've got Disney California Adventure. Uh, which is, the gates are lovely. It's all Oogie Boogie themed at the moment because it's the Halloween bash, which is kind of annoying because, yeah. We've got the Mission Breakout Tower, which used to be Hollywood Tower of Terror. Kind of annoyed that's gone, but I guess this is the only mission breakout in the in the in the world, so we might have to hit that up. Even though I hate drop drop rides, might just have to do it for the for the culture. I love the little Mickey's everywhere as well. But yeah, that's Downtown Disney. That's pretty much it. Um, do recommend going for half day free. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Like, subscribe, and all that jazz.